Hey everyone, I'm Narg and welcome back to Factorio. We need to start making some utility science. So we need to expand outwards this way. This is not our this is still not our permanent base really. Uh, but for now we really do need utility science and we really do need to expand out that way a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask our wonderful robots to deconstruct all of this. And there is a problem with that. Uh, and that problem is that we will not be getting any um, ammo down to our turrets down here. So we need to replace those with laser turrets. Eventually, at least, because the turrets down here at the bottom, they, they're pretty busy. They are pretty busy. So what we're going to do is, for now at least, just stick some laser turrets in between here. And we need to put power lines in as well, unfortunately, but it is what it is. So, while our robots take care of business up there, we're going to take care of business down here. And I do want to change all this out with better power poles, but for now these work fine. Alright. Well, that's at least some of the way hooked up with laser turrets. Okay, so let's see, how are they doing on clearing out all that stuff? They are working on it. They are working on it. All right. So what do we need for utility science packs? We need processing units, which we're already producing. We need flying robot frames, which we're also already producing. And we need low density structures. So we produce three utility science packs every 21 seconds. So that means that we need seven of these being produced or seven assemblers producing these which means we need 14 processing units a minute or a second seven flying robot frames a second and 21 low density structures a second low density structures is going to be the worst one even though it's not that bad not that bad All right so we do have the robot frames here and we could right here make it so that they're on both sides of the belt and then we could get them down and running on this line i think that's what we're gonna do so let's get started on that we need some belts let's grab some of those and first thing we'll do is hmm, it's a bit of a problem that we have it like this it's a bit of a problem so what i want to do well that's not what i wanted to do i want to get a splitter in here and then Tell these to go that way and these to come up here and go that way. All right, so that works. Then here, I want these to come up this way. There we go, which means that we now can make. Uh, 
make them go on both sides of the belt here, which we will need, which we will need. So what we'll do is just make a little dirty something here. There we go. And now they're going on both sides of the belt. Good. Then we need to split them out. And where can we get it all the way down? We can get it all the way down right here. Come down here. And come along this way. All right. So that means that we don't need to worry so much about those, at least. And to be honest, I if it's not perfect ratios right now, I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, we really just want to produce that utility science so that we can get our uh, suit and roboport and exoskeletons and stuff like that. But that should bring those out. Then we need to set up the low density structures, which take 20 seconds to make. And we need 21 every second. So we need 20 machines making those. Jesus. Yeah, we do. We do. So let's set that up. Let's just give us a, ourselves a bit of space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And we need two input lines and an output line. Whoa, wrong way. So there's one input line, and there's the other, and then we need an output, and I think we'll have the output going this way. And then we need another 10 machines. There, and I think what I want to do is bring in material this way so that we have two lines. And again, wrong way. We could also just run it up and around. Should be okay because it takes so long for him to build. Let's come up one. There we go. And again, this is where our robots would be so sweet to have. I suppose we could set up the network. Actually, they are covered almost. Do we have a robo port? Yes, we do. Go there, and then we basically just need a power pole, and these are now part of the robot network, so in a bit of an awkward place. Let's move this up, then actually we need to move it up too, because then we can get going up like that. Alright. And we need power poles. We need power poles. We have them right over here. Uh, 
We need no, we don't need big ones right now. Okay. So we will build power poles. And like that. Come over here. And build power poles down here. Right. So they're powered up. And they want to make low density structures. Let's copy that. And they of course need some light. We'll stick them in there. All right. So we have that going, and then we just need the resources for them. So what do we need? We need 20 copper plate and the copper plate will be on its own line for sure. That's there's no doubt about that. And it will be on the inside line. So splitter there. And undergroundy there. So that's copper coming in. Then we need steel plate and plastic bars. And they will go on shared belt. Let's see it's out here. Not up there. It'll save. And then we want a splitter. Hmm. We actually need to move this. It'll come in here. And come up here. Like so. Let's see, we need... This is where we have the problem. Everything needs to be moved, but we need to move the base anyway, so it's fine. And whoops. There's steel going. And we just need plastic going. Go there. Need to underground this. Uh, we are out of undergrounders. Let's go get some. Right over here. And let's get rid of all of these. And we can also get rid of those. And let's grab some more belt just in case. And let's get this done. We want this done. So that will come up to where? I suppose. Hmm. I am a little bit confused right now. Sorry about that. Come up to there. All right. And a bit of belt. And that's all hooked up. Then we, of course, need some inserters. Are we doing stack inserters yet? Are we making those? I'm not actually sure. We are making stack filter inserters. Are these? Stack inserters, then? Yes, they are. Let's grab those. We don't actually need them for this, I guess. Because it takes so long. But it, they do need 20 copper. So let's stick stack inserters on there. And 
put stack inserters for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hope that this will be able to keep up. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. All right. There we go. We have the copper going. And then we need the long handed. And then we just need the outputs. And the outputs will just be regular old inserters. They should be able to keep up with a 20 second production cycle. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, so we have low density structures being produced. The very first ones are on the line already, which means that we are producing everything that we need. So we need the processing units to come out. Uh, let's see, we'll just build these now. And there. And there. So then we need the actual science packs, and we need seven machines making those. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's just tell them to make them. There we go. And then we need a couple of inputs. And an output. All good. So I suppose these will come down and around like this. I don't actually know what else we need low density structures for. I'm sure it's, uh, we, we need them for the rocket parts, but we want this to be for the science anyway. So they don't need to come on to the belt or the bus. So there we go. And then we need a splitter here. Let's just figure out where it is first. Down here, isn't it? So there, 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 and then come up. And then we need Another one from there to there, the stupid three wide line. And maybe it actually doesn't need to be a three wide line. We'll fix it someday. Someday we'll fix it. You'll see. And like that. And then it's these guys. Put the underground in there. And for now, we'll just do like this and actually get it going. There we go. Then, of course, we need to power these guys up. And we need to light them up. And then we need to hook them up with some inserters. So there, 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 there. And then we can do the stack inserters there. Not that we really need to, I think. And the outputs.
So that should get our utility science going. Then we just need to bring it in to all of the other science. So where do we have... Actually, this one... Is that sharing a line with anything? At any point? No. Purple science is not sharing line. Is this purple science? Yes, it is. So what we can do is just turn it here and bring it over. So let's just look at this. If that comes in there, 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 runs down, under, and in, and not sharing with anyone. Good. So, utility science is on the way. We have the first few there. Very nice. And next, there's the next batch. So, yeah. Utility science is on the way. I love it. So far, the copper is keeping up okay. Everything is fine and dandy. Excellent. So, yeah. So, that means that we can start researching our... portable fusion reactors and all the good stuff that we need to be able to per the personal robo port mark 2 oh i'm loving it the logistics system oh yeah baby now the fun begins so yeah but that is it for this time guys so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.